All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing some Katarina in the mid lane, and we are running Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Unflinching. We're going to do this Bruiser Katarina that's been going around now. Pretty much her standard build now. We go a Sunder into a Nasher's Tooth second, and then third item, we either go an Hourglass or a Death Cap. Probably an Hourglass this game, because we are against a Zed. So... Why this build works and why it's so good, it's because um, we do physical damage and magic damage, so the Sunder pen helps, but the item gives us a lot of health and damage, and we basically do the same damage as normal Katarina, just with a ton more health and resistances, so we can survive longer in fights, stack the Conqueror up, get Triumph resets that will heal us even more, because we have higher max health, and yeah, we have a lot of uh, stun resist too, because of our runes. We're still going to go Sork Shoes as our boots. Yeah, an Hourglass 3rd will be very good versus said We could tank his ult every single time. So you start a Longsword, because this builds into the Sunder. You can also start a Doran Shield if you're in a lane that's very poke-heavy, like an ADC mid. We need to play safe. But this Longsword actually gives us a lot of damage. I'm just going to play back. Although he did just miss his combo, so we'll hit him a bit. It's not the worst trade. Oh, now it's pretty bad since he hit that Q. But if he's pushed up, we can get a gank. But I'm about to have a big wave under my turret, so he's going to try to poke more. If I walk up and hit these minions, he uses all his abilities on me. So we'll just let it into tower. Let it reset. Level three. We just want the cannon. Nice. We got it. Oh, he just shadowed in. Nice. That's good. His flash down, he's definitely not going to play as aggressive. Or if he does, he'll die next gank. Why? Because I can. Darn, didn't get that one. We're only down three farm, though. This is a tough matchup early. He's a lot stronger than us. I'm going to ping my Ramus again. Because I, I bet he's going to shadow him. He's been pretty aggressive all lane. Nice, he shadowed in. I'm just going to ignite an all in. I'm probably going to need to run here. And let Ramus finish the job. Nice. We'll take it. I'm going to ping my Ramus to push. Yeah, if I would have went in for that kill, I had a chance of dying. So, just that Zed being dead, I'm happy. Let's <gasps> my cannon. We need that Sheen so my E actually can last hit stuff. Either way, not too bad. Uh, is Ramus okay here? One under turret. Oh no, he's going the wrong way. Okay, he's out. Okay, we have a Sheen. That'll help me with a lot of damage. We'll run back to lane. No going back. Uh oh. Darius be chasing Ramus. Better just not to fight him. Darius is very strong early. Eh, actually, if we have uh, Mundo coming, we can get Darius Flash here. Blue Zed's here. Mundo, what are you doing, man? Go in. Might go for Zed. Nice. I went for Zed. Because I know he doesn't have flash. Darn. Yeah, the Darius flash, but Mundo will get him. That's actually very good. Even though I died, I still got kill and assist. I got two kills, I think, actually. Okay, let's build Sunder components. Can't get boots yet, but this is fine. 
did lose a wave of minions mid, but it looks like this might freeze here. If this cannon doesn't walk forward, it's great. Okay, good. So yeah, now we just need to hit level 6. They have no flashes, I think. Action might have flashed. Maybe not. But I know Darius and Zed don't have it yet. We'll go in on Zed if he walks up here, but he's staying back. Nice, I got him. Almost could have killed Darius, but I think if he hit me one more time, probably would have died. Ooh, we're level 6 now. Now we're a lot stronger. I like playing Katarina at level 6. I can't go for this though, Darius might wrap around. Hopefully the plating survives and I can get that later. I think it will. Alright, I think we'll pick up boots here, although... This is actually better than boost. This will beef me up. So we're getting strong. Three and one now. Early is the hardest part, I think. This gets a lot easier once I have my Sunder. And their team's actually 4 AD. I could go armor boots this game, but I'm going to do the hourglass after the Nashers, and I think that'll be enough. Because that can block action ult, Darius ult, Zed ult, Pike ult. It's just so good versus their team. Nice, Mundo's winning top first action. Zed's roaming. I gotta push this wave. Oh, look. Uh, Zed ulted. Heard the noise. There's Darius. Take this pink. Oh, it's a Pike Seraphine bot. We could look for a kill here on like Seraphine or something. Oh yeah. If she doesn't have a flash, I should be able to kill her here. She at all, but I can jump. Nice, I got him. Um, I can jump to Ramus. Get out of here safely. All right, cool. We can actually kill this guy. Ramus might die, but we got the whole squad here. Beautiful. All right. This is going well. I have seven KP. All right, I think we got that Sunder. We are a beefy Katarina. We could start working on boots. Um, Nashes is next. I could get a dagger, but I'll just wait for the Sork shoes. Yeah, basically, it's just Sunder and then full AP Katarina. So Sunder, tanky runes, full AP Katarina. So I accidentally used my dagger back there. Oh, I might be able to... Nope. He's out. I didn't know Ramus was that close. Probably could have killed him there. Gotta get some farm. I have such bad CS this game. But the good thing is this champion doesn't really need that much farm to work. Since on Katarina, all you gotta do is roam bot and get your pentakill for free. Um, He doesn't have smite. I mean, the only way Darius steals is if he flashes over. If he flashes over, he dies. Nah, that sucks. It happens though. Oh, Pike missed all. Did we get out of this alive? Okay, he's not getting out of this alive. If we didn't have smite, we probably shouldn't have done dragon there. Um, I think Darius is behind her. Oh my god, that was scary. Good thing I actually eat Doramus because I would have got hit by that pole. Oh 
my god, I almost jumped to her. Um, I kind of need a base, but I do have rocket here. I don't have alt though. Alright, not the worst. Yeah, we shouldn't have done dragon uh, while we didn't have smite. But also, I think we could have got it if we didn't let it reset. Either way, it's not bad. Alright, let's do the Nashers next. This is going to give us a lot of damage. Hmm, they might be able to kill this guy. But yeah, this is going to give us more attack speed. We attack a lot because of the Sunder, and then I think the Nashers applies on the E too, and the daggers, so. OP item. And then once I have Hourglass, I can just like go in the middle of their team and bait out all their spells. Ooh, conditioning just popped. That makes me tankier. It's given me, uh, thir or, uh, yeah, 13 and, like, 12 armor and MR. You can maybe dive this guy. Yeah, since Ramus got the taunt, I'll just go in and ult. It's a good play. I don't know where action is. Okay, he's top. No going back. I can almost 1v1 Darius. Even though I have items on him, It's if he gets his bleed stacks up to full, I just die. So we don't risk that. If I had ult ignite, which I have ignite but no ult. And Katarina ult does physical and magic damage. I haven't played Katarina in so long. I think my last Katarina video was like a year, over a year ago. And this video has taken me four attempts. So I can, I never even made it to level six, any of the attempts. Is there anything down here? Uh, I could kill the, you know what, I'm just diving it. I'm limit testing this shit. And I live. <laughs> You gotta test the limits to figure out what you can do and what you can't do. I used to, I'm used to playing mages. You can't just go under turret like that. But uh, that wasn't too bad. I wonder what's better here, the recurve bow or the wand. I'm gonna try the bow. It's because it adds 15 on hit and then the attack speed. I don't know if the attack speed does anything to the Katarina, but it does something. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just our auto damage. It helps. Alt's back up almost. Very short cooldown. Plus it gets reset on kills and stuff. Uh, Zed's going Eclipse into MR. But he's probably going um, Merc Treads, which actually aren't that great into me. <gasps> My cannon, I missed another one. I should have just eat that one. They're fighting bot. I'm gonna start running down there because I'm Katarina. Uh, I might be leaving Ramus though. I'm Katarina, so all I gotta do is go bot and claim my free kills, right? Ah, uh, they see me. I don't have flash, so I think they'll be out. Unless they didn't see me and they go to turret here. Hmm. Darn, I don't think I can reach her. I could jump to Pike. Nah, Zed's coming. Back up here. Almost had that. If I had Ignite for Seraphine. But we got a recall quick. I want to die, dude. Oh, Zed's dead. Never mind. <laughs> I maybe could have chased him. But I think they would have just kited me there. Meanwhile, Mundo's 6 and 0, so we got a turbo tank. We have a really good front line. We have Mundo, Ramus, and then we have 
Soraka to heal them. Nah, I don't need blue as Katarina. It doesn't really do anything. Lower cooldowns, but I already have low cooldowns. So I just might accidentally give it to the other team. Nice, I got some really good damage off there. Surprisingly, I didn't take any. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Oh, jumped over the wall with that dagger. I learned that I can... You don't have to, like, click directly on the dagger. You can click next to it and go over walls and stuff. That was really risky, because if I didn't make that, I would have got pulled. I would have had to flash, if anything. Uh, Seraphine might save her ult for me. I mean, as Katarina, you don't really want to go in first, even with this Bruiser build, at least into this team. I have to wait for them to burn some abilities, because if they use everything on me, they can still nuke me. And they can cancel my ult pretty easy. Uh, Jin... Oh, shit, that was a weird interaction with Gale Force. Uh, actions here. I mean, Mundo's 6-0. If they chase him too far, I can maybe get something. Okay, Triumph. I was ignited, so Triumph's not going to heal me. He hit the slow. I could flash E in. I think I will. Oh my god, what? You guys see that Mundo auto attack did like a quarter of Pike's health? I didn't even need to go in. I don't even know how Seraphine died either. Alright, we got the Nashers. Now we want a stopwatch. I can go in and bait now. I can actually go in first. Because then they'll burn everything on me. I hear Seraphine ult. I just press stopwatch. Does he win this? I guess he does. Oh my god. This Mundo is terrifying. Alright, let's try and take this mid tower. I get flash EZ. I have to ult, can't reach him in time. I think Ramus is dead. At least I made it out. I didn't want to have to ult there, but it's fine. It's only back up in 20 seconds. Healing a lot. Oh, red buff is healing me so much, I don't even have to go to base. Back chance here. He's got to get closer to the wall. Nice. I didn't even need to do anything there. Oh, I don't have my jump. Where is he? Oh, I missed the dagger. Whatever, I'll flash. I'll take it. Let's see, ward over the wall. Double. Let's go get some more. Oh, I pressed my stopwatch, but I think I was doomed anyway. I missed too many daggers there. I mean, I'm 12 and 2. Sunder has done 1500 damage and has healed me 1500. Oh, I did press my stopwatch in time. I just pressed the wrong button, so I'll put it on my main key. I don't think it would have saved me, though. It would have just wasted my stopwatch. The thing is, I got to use the stopwatch next time I go in, because next time I base, I'm probably going to have Hourglass completed, and then that resets the cooldown of this. Yeah, I only need 600 gold. There's Zed back here. Ooh, Pike dies so fast to me, and then... Oh my god. They're in the bush. Where'd she go? Uh, I wanted to Q him, but I couldn't see him in time. I 
I mean, this is pretty fun, because Katarina kind of turns into... Let's play Team Deathmatch. Who cares about farm? We can just fight. Definitely not my playstyle, but... I know how it works, just from playing against it. Maybe a limit test here. Dive Seraphine, try to use the stopwatch to outplay. Although I don't have ult. I'm using W to proc the Sunder, see how much extra damage that one auto did. You can do that with Q also. And the Nasher's attack speed actually helps us shred this. I gotta fight this. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on. No, she got too far away. That was so close. I didn't ignite. If it wasn't up, but I think it was up, I just misplayed then. Because if I ignited her, I kill her, then I get resets. Oh, we got the stopwatch up again. We could try again. This has already done 915 damage. Okay, so after this stopwatch, we can just go death cap next. Big, big damage. I don't think they're going to be able to kill this Mundo. With Hallbreaker, when he's alone, he has so much armor, and they're, like, all AD. Or Seraphine have. She has Leandre's, though. That'll chunk him a bit. I think Mundo just has good base MR, too, though. 47? What's mine? 46. Eh, it's, it's about the same, actually. Alright, GG, they FF'd. Not a super long game, but that's kind of what happens when we play Assassins. Either way, I'll take it. I I spent <laughs> too long trying to get this Katarina video, but I'll see you next year for the next one. Anyway, if you guys didn't see the uh, main channel video, we got a cool secret champ who kills anybody level 2, so go check that out on TC Swag. Otherwise, check out Swag and Highs if you haven't either. And then... Else. I'm gonna be playing some Hyla today on one of my accounts. I don't know if I'm gonna stream. I play so much better off stream because so many people snipe me. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow as always. Two more videos. Let's see our damage. Uh, we did the most damage on the team, not the most in the game though. Seraphine actually did a ton. Bunker healed us 768. Triumph healed us almost 1200. Uh, last end did 560 damage and 47 seconds of max tenacity from unflinching. Other than that, Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Thank you again for watching.